Our coverage continues now out of northwestern Oklahoma. That region devastated to learn that one of their major employers, the prison in Fort Supply, is set to close. KOCO's Abigail Ogle joining us now. Abby, tonight we are hearing from the Oklahomans who expect to be out of a job. Evan, we heard from employees who didn't want to be identified, and I'll tell you, they paint a dire picture. They say they don't know when they'll be out of a job, where they could be transferred, and more than anything, they say they're just sad and confused. Devastation, heartbroken. I didn't believe it. I was mad. About 140 Oklahomans will either lose their jobs. It's not just affecting my income. It's my other half also works out there. We're having to worry about two incomes. We will also be losing our insurance, our benefits. I'm nine months pregnant, and that's scary to me. Or be transferred. We are guaranteed a job, that's for sure. But the stress is where, when. As the Fort Supply Prison, William S. Key closes its doors. Like I've put in a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into this job, and I feel like I don't want to give up the six years that I've been out there. It's not easy for any of us just to pack up and move or drive 76 miles to one facility. I have three kids. It's... It's hard to get them up and going again to another school. The employees we spoke to said they want a timeline. It's even harder not having like a time, like a specific date when the end time is. We can't give our landlords any time. They wonder when will it officially close? When will they have to decide if they want to relocate? And they say everything is moving too fast. That's all I wish is they would slow down the process. Give us a chance to come up with the plan. I wish they would slow down shipping these inmates because we're running out of time of finding out what our next plan is, where we're going to go, if we're going to retire, if we're going to transfer or just quit. Now, I've reached out to the state about these employees' concerns. They said today was actually the deadline to decide if they want to stay within DOC, and then a plan for those employees would be out within the next two weeks. There were several other questions that I got answers to. You can find all of those answers posted on your KOCO app.